Hello and welcome to Fashion Report Friday, the weekly video series trying to get you the most MGP possible from the Mandeville Gold Saucer every week on a Friday when on the Fashion Report minigame judging begins. This is week 259, would you believe it? And this week the theme, as you can see, is Beast of a Builder. The individual clues include Call of the Wild for our helm, Restoration Regalia for our chest, Ready for Rain for our feet, and Jewels of Violet for our earring. In this video, we have an 80 score as well as a 100 and a die options as well. So let's go through that with the 100 first. Okay, so for our 100 score, first of all, I went for the bunny crown. This is something you can get with uh, MGP itself in the gold saucer, so it's a good option. This fits every single character in the game level one and above, both genders, obviously. So uh, definitely a great option to go for. Additionally, the bunny chief crown will work as well. Other alternatives, however, do include the Tamamo headband, uh, the Keichi ears, the emerald topaz or ruby carbuncle ears from the cash shop and of course the reindeer antlers all of those will work for gold this week but of course the bunny crown and the bunny chief crown respectively are just from mgp and probably are the best and cheapest option for the chest then i went for the craftsman's apron again this is something that you can obtain in the game from your uh, sky builder scripts over in the restoration of ishgard this is something equipable by all classes in the game level one and above it's a pretty good option uh, alternatives however to this include the craftsman's coverall top and the craftsman's singlet both of those in similar fashion so um yeah you might want to go for that but it is ishgard restoration related unfortunately for your chest for the feet then i went for the rain boots from the rain attire that you could get in the game and make um alternatives to this however i have absolutely no idea uh, so this is the best option for this it's kind of tied to the clue so it kind of locks it in unfortunately i'm sure there are ways around this but i don't have the you know time to go and test seven thousand different pairs of boots today so um those are the best option i think and then finally, for the Jewels of Violet slot, we can go and get earrings from vendors, such as... So if you want to grab yourself an earring, come over to Uldar, um, one of the best places. You can go other places, but come over to the Goldsmith's Guild Teleport and then just go slightly uh, west and go to Esteem's Aesthetics uh, until you find Silas the Jeweler. Off of this particular vendor on the Battle Accessories tab, what we're going to get is the fluorite earrings for 2,544 gil. Um, there are other purple um, earrings that you can obviously get uh, from other vendors and other places in the world. But this one is equipable by everybody level 29 and above. And obviously alternatives to the fluorite earrings would be any purple sort of violet gemmed jewels uh, for your earrings. So that stuff includes, just to mention a couple, the amethyst earrings, um, iolite earrings, and uh, spinal and wolf spinal earrings will probably also work here as well, as well as probably a lot of others that are purple in, uh, in appearance as well. And that's the 100 score. Not too bad, but does require to, you to do the Ishgard restoration and, um, you know, for the rain boots as well. So not the best. So let's move on to an 80 with dies. All right, then, as you can see, for the dies this week, not too bad, but also not great either. Um, for any weapon in the game, you need to get turquoise green. Turquoise green, specifically not the blue turquoise, just to point that out as a reminder. So don't buy the wrong die. Uh, for any helm in the game, we've dyed that, um, obviously, pearl white die as well as legs in the game pearl white this week quite an expensive one any hands in the game are slate gray any body in the game is gunmetal black and of course we have ourselves some coral pink on our feet there honestly not that great um quite an expensive rotation of things unless you get them with sky builder scripts not my cup of tea so let's move on to an easy 80 instead for the easiest 80 that we can come up with, then it should come as no surprise that we're just going to combine two items. Um, just having something equipped in the other slots does actually give us points, but uh, obviously we're just focusing on the two things. So make sure something has 
Uh, you have something equipped in every single slot of your gear, which includes your left and right side. And then try and get yourself the bunny crown. I, I put this one in because it's only 20,000 MGP from a prize claim vendor. I don't think that's really that difficult to obtain and it is equipable by everyone. The alternatives would be obviously to mix and match two other items but I thought this was a good option and then obviously the fluorite ingots which we got from a low level jewelry vendor Silas uh, in the jeweled grows and uh, not in the jeweled grows here at uh, uh, Stames Aesthetics sorry my main mind is a little bit messed up this week um, in Aldar for gill which is equipable by all classes in the game level 29 and above so all we've got is a limitation of level 29 on any class or job in the game which isn't too bad access to the gold saucer required but you would need that anyway for mgp to earn it and also access to uldar vendor not too bad in level 29 that's pretty much what I'm going to settle for this week. There are ways of mixing and matching some of the die options, obviously, and of course, other items that you might have from a 100. So uh, obviously share your results below. What did you do to get your 100 and your 80 if you're going for that? Um, obviously you need 80 or above for your minimum MGP per week. Make sure you put your FC buffs on. A link in the description will take you to the Reddit thread where this is theorized each and every week. Um, much love, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, hopefully 6.3 is treating you well. Happy hunting for the airship that costs 4 million MGP. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.